Hello, everybody, and welcome again back to Life at the Table here at the Truesdale uh, Family Residence. It's Thursday, May 14th, um, and I'll be uh, discussing something today that I've been discussing for many, many weeks, uh, and that is faith over fear. Uh, I'm going to continue that theme with a rather applicable story today, given the uh, rather abysmal and abysmal weather that we're experiencing outside, um, a story that I think we can all kind of relate to in these, in these difficult times. So as usual, what's going to happen is I'm going to go ahead and do the communal prayer that we would do um, if we were there in person. Um, and that's very brief. And then I will go over a, the gospel message, uh, Matthew 22 to 33, I believe, no, 14, uh, 14, 22 to 33, when Peter tries to walk on the water, fails, and with Christ's help, he's able to actually be saved. Okay, here we go. Be present at our table, Lord, be here and everywhere adored. Let creatures bless and grant that we may feast in paradise with thee. Amen. All right, so if you want to go ahead and turn to your um, to your turn to your gospel, open up your Bibles to Matthew 14, 22 to 36. So it's 14, 22 to 36. Immediately he made the disciples get into the boat and be go, go before him to the other side while he dismissed the crowds. And after he had dismissed the crowds, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone. But the boat by this time was a long way from the land, beaten by the waves, for the wind was against him. And in the fourth watch of the night, he came to them walking on the sea. But when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified and said, It is a ghost. And they cried out in fear. But immediately Jesus spoke to them saying, Take heart. It is I. Do not be afraid. And Peter answered him, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. He said, Come. So Peter got out of the boat and walked on the water and came to Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid. And beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Jesus immediately reached out his hand and took hold of him, saying to him, O oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? And when they got into the boat, the wind ceased. And those in the boat worshipped him, worshipped him, saying, Truly you are the Son of God. Now, like most gospel stories, in my humble op opinion, this is clearly not just about um, two men, um, one of which was the Son of God, and one of which was very much a man uh, walking on the water. Um, what was this really about? Um, again, in my humble opinion, this is about... A man who lets his fears uh, and his superstitions get in the way of his faith. Um, I think that what this story is trying to tell us is that if we can believe in ourselves and believe in God, then we truly can do amazing things. It's Christ himself that tells us, trust in faith in God and anything can be accomplished. Um, I think we're, why I'm examining this theme um, all throughout uh, these Life at the Tables um, is that I see a lot of people on a daily basis, whether it's my students, whether it's myself, or whether it's other adults, uh, that have a lack of um, self-confidence. And I'm not sure whether that ties into a lack of faith. I certainly don't want to go down that road. But I think a lot of times if we had a little bit more faith in ourselves, then we, we can accomplish great things that God wants us to do. So again, I think that we kind of hold ourselves back by not having that faith in, our, in ourselves. And clearly, I think that that might have been Peter's problem. Here was a guy who was very much, uh, very much human. He had a very bad temper. Um, he would often do very rash things. Wasn't the most well-educated. Was a basic fisherman. And yet, Jesus chose him. It was not the other way around. So clearly, I think what we can learn from this story is that if you're lacking faith, if you're lacking um salt in and of yourself. Um, just take heart that Jesus chose someone who was exceptionally human and exceptionally flawed. And I challenge you this week to open up the Bible um, and dig deep and find any character, uh, any person in the Bible is going to be deeply, deeply flawed, but that person is better with Christ. That person could be chosen by Christ like Peter. Maybe the, he will even choose you for eternal life, to have your name written in the book of life. Have salt in yourselves, but
believe in yourselves this week. And again, I'm pushing people to really dig deeper into the Bible and find an example of faith over fear. How is that applicable to your life? Is it applicable at all? How are you going to overcome your um, lack of confidence if you have any? So keep your humility, keep your faith, get the fear down to a minimum, uh, and have a phenomenal week. Thank you everybody so much for tuning in and watching. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.